Did you know you can calculate the entropy of mixing ideal gases? Entropy is a measure of the disorder of a system. So if you start with one mole of pure helium and two moles of pure neon and then mix the two, all of a sudden you have different types of atoms, helium and neon, in the same container, there's a little more disorder. And so the entropy increases. We can calculate the gain or increase in entropy with this formula, negative moles total, gas constant, and then we have this complicated math looking expression, which just means the sum of all the products of the mole fractions times the lawns or natural logarithms of those mole fractions. Let me show you how it works. Again, we're mixing one mole of helium and two moles of neon. So the entropy of mixing is negative. That's three moles total. R, the gas constant, is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And then we get to this sum. We're going to multiply by whatever sum we get. And each chi i, or x i, is the mole fraction of that thing. Now helium, which we have one mole of, is one out of the three moles total. Each mole fraction is the moles of that constituent divided by the total moles. One third of the atoms here are helium, thus the mole fraction is a third. So it's one third times the ln, or natural logarithm, of one third, sum with one, oh, ha, two thirds, because two thirds of the atoms are neon, times the ln of two thirds. Cool? Now this is just a calculation, but I'm gonna do this part separately for you. That's one third times the ln of one third plus two thirds times the ln of two thirds. I end up with negative 0 0.6365 from that, negative three, 8.314, negative 0.6365. You will always get a negative number for this sum because A, we expect the entropy to increase, thus this is positive and we need something to cancel with this negative. But more importantly, taking the natural logarithm of anything less than one will always give a negative number. Now, because we're adding them all together, it's just a small negative number plus another small negative number, and you end up with another small negative number. And keeping in mind that each chi i can't be more than one because no more than 100% of the atoms can be one thing. Okay, in any case, that's enough. Me nerding out about the math. Let's multiply this by negative three and multiply it by 8.314 while we're here, and I get positive 15.86. The moles canceled with moles here, and I'm left with joules per Kelvin, which you may recognize as the proper unit for entropy. Cool? It's an easy formula, um, just as long as you could know how to use it. You can also, if you know enough about the number of moles of one constituent, and you know the entropy of mixing, calculate the number of moles of another constituent, but that is much, much tougher. I've never actually seen it done. I'm just telling you, because it's an equation, if you only have one unknown, you'll be able to solve for it. Deal? Deal. Best of luck.